Meet Rebecca Brown. Rebecca is only 18 years old, yet has dealt with the mental issue of having trichotillomania since she was little. Trichotillomania, or Trich for short, is the mental disorder where one feels the need to pull out their hair, their eyelashes, or their eyebrows. Symptoms of trichotillomania include pulling your hair out, wanting to pull your hair out, feeling relieved after you have, playing, chewing, eating, or rubbing the extracted hair, and having patchy, bald, or sparse areas on the body where the hair used to be. According to the National Institutes of Health, as many as 4% of people have trichotillomania. One of these people is Rebecca Brown. Rebecca talks very openly about her disorder on websites such as YouTube, Tumblr, and has her very own blog describing how life is like living with trichotillomania. Rebecca describes her life with trichotillomania to be very frustrating because many of her family and friends don't understand her urge to keep pulling her hair. She goes on to say that when she does pull her hair out, she doesn't feel any pain, making it very easy to continue pulling and touching and fiddling. But Rebecca has stated that she has found happiness and comfort in online support groups for people with trichotillomania. Dylan Levine wrote an article on the website called The Fix where he confessed all of his wrongdoings as being a kleptomaniac. He goes on to describe that the first time he ever remembered stealing something was at a bar called Trio where they sold chocolate and biscuits. He stole other things like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle trading cards from his best friend's older sister and a Garfield book from one of his classmates. Dylan said that stealing things gave him a sense of power and entitlement because he could not get that in his own hands. His father was a pastor and Dylan felt that he could never live up to the expectations his father put on. In order to recover from his kleptomania, Dylan has turned to Buddhism. Every day he wakes up in a calm, quiet, peaceful, and harmonious state of mind. Instead of focusing on giving up or stopping his kleptomania, he practices his meditation and observes the principles. He feels that if he were to break a universal law, which the Buddhists call Dhamma, he would disturb the balance of his mind. However, this is not a normal recovery method. Usually doctors prescribe medications like SSRI antidepressants, mood stabilizers, anti-anxiety medications, anti-seizure medications, naltrexone, and other. Doctors also like to use the method of psychotherapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy. However, there is no cure for kleptomania. Luke is a former pyromaniac who admits to setting things on fire as a child. He describes that he was very hyper-focused on campfires because he felt that the warmth and the light of the fire protected and comforted him. He even admits to filling a wheelbarrow with gasoline and lighting it on fire. However, one incident made him stop completely. One day, he and his little brother went out into the forest with a pressurized can of breaker fluid. After 15 minutes of waiting, Luke thought nothing would happen, so he sent his little brother out to go get the can. His little brother was resistant and hesitant at first, and once he took the first step to go get the can, it exploded. Luke realized this could have killed his little brother and stopped all methods of pyromania. Pyromania is usually very difficult to treat because of the lack of insight and cooperation on the part of the patient, but it usually consists of a combination of medication such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and sessions of psychotherapy. If you or anyone you know has an impulse control disorder, please go to www.experienceproject.com. You don't have to go through it alone.